I consider the settings I'm going to share with you in this video a major breakthrough. And the reason is, this is how I am going to play most of the games. You see, in this LG OLEDs, we basically have two TVs in one. We have one with black frame insertion and one without it. But the problem is, you turn that on, you turn on OLED Motion Pro, and it just looks too dark, bro. I don't like it. And LG is not doing anything to calibrate or improve the picture quality when you use black frame insertion. And as a consequence, it is very difficult to get, you know, a perfect picture quality. You know, amazing. Because you're losing brightness. And on top of that, the near black is too dark. Okay? Sometimes it's difficult to see. So what I've been using so far for OLED Motion Pro High on this LG C1 on the PC is the SDR HDR trick that I shared with you before link in the description of the video and that works fantastic it looks amazing but sometimes near black it is just barely visible so i know the settings are fantastic they are showing you all the detail but because oled motion pro makes everything darker it becomes a problem near black just to get that perfect visibility near black without washing out the picture okay so what i am doing is using reshade to solve that problem and what i have accomplished with these settings on reshade are close to unbelievable this is just magic and it is gonna be very difficult for me to show you the difference but i'm still gonna try it I'm going to turn off the lights, you know, go back and forth and try to show you the difference. So before I do that, let me just show you the settings I am using on the TV, then the settings that I am using on Reshade. And of course, I'm going to have in the description of the video, the Reshade settings in writing and also the TV settings. So it is uh, you know, in writing in case you don't understand exactly what I'm saying <laughs> because the reshade settings are, are weird so we come here to brightness and what we are basically doing is double limiting the black level so we have HDR turn on on Windows and we are opening the games on SDR so now when you do that the games are double limited they are washed out two times so you need to do a double expansion okay that's what forcing limited is but you do not want to affect the white point because we have the tone mapping options available on the TV to get that brightness with the SDR HDR slider so what we're going to do is we're going to limit the black level on the TV one time and the second time, we're going to limit it with reshade to get a brighter near black. Okay, So this screen brightness 46 is the same black crush as forcing limited here on the TV. So full range on the GPU, forcing limited on the TV, that's going to be the same black crush. But I do not want to do that because I do not want to affect the white point. Okay, and the reason is the SDR HDR slider is pushing Max CLL 498, and I have the option here of tone mapping off. And then I come here to this secret menu 11131111, and with that tone mapping off option, we can select here the tone mapping target which is going to be 540. So it is not tone mapping off. The TV is doing tone mapping and this is the target. So I don't I do not want to touch that. That's why I don't want to force limit it on the TV. I just want to limit the black level. Okay? So we have master in peak and max CLL in 540 and let me just show you the rest of the settings before I show you the reshade settings. 
So color depth 55, warm 50. And of course, I am using OLED Motion Pro High, which is what we're talking about here. If you have a C2 or a different, um, yeah, C2 or the C3, I don't know what's the black from insertion, or G3, G2, just turn it on and I use it at 60 Hertz, 60 FPS. This LG C1 supports 50, 60, 100, and 120 black frame insertion, okay? Which is a shame that they reduce the, the feature on the newer TVs. It's just insane. Such an amazing feature. You know, enjoy what you have. C2, G2, they are great TVs. The C3, G3 are gonna be amazing. But unfortunately, they don't have this. So, let's see the reshade settings now. So now, I'm going to show you the reshade settings. And I'm going to explain you why. Because this was not me playing around and going up and down with the settings. I was able to put a test pattern, a near black test pattern in the game to calibrate that near black. So the name of the preset, and of course, I'm not going to show you how to install Reshade. I mean, it's very simple. Just Google it, how to install Reshade. It's just one click, install, next, 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 finish, and you're done. You open the game, everything is there for you. It's very simple. The only thing you have to do is to search for this preset called PD8003 Curved Levels. Okay? PD80, um, lower slash, I forgot how this thing is called, this is slash here, 03, slash curved levels, okay? So with this curved levels preset, we are going to change the following settings. Black point, so this gray black point, we're going to increase that from 0 to 3. And we're going to change the toe position X and the toe position Y. So the toe position X, we're going to change that to 0 0.030. And the toe position Y, we're going to change that to 0 0.040. Okay, that's it. That's all we have to do. And I'm going to show you here with the near black test pattern how that looks and what that does. So let me turn off the lights so you can see this near black test pattern. So I'm going to go on and off with the preset. And as you can see, when I turn on the preset, I am crushing the blacks here on the near black test pattern. So now let me get reshade out of the way so the camera is adj adjusts the, the exposure and the gain, so you, the ISO, so you can see this near black test pattern. So without the preset, so without the reshade preset, I can see the entire near black test pattern, which is basically these two squares here. We can see the entire near black test pattern. So this near black test pattern is on SDR and all content on Windows, all SDR content on Windows is limited, okay? so. I can see the entire near black test pattern, but it is just barely visible because I am limiting the black level on the TV with a screen brightness 46. So now I want to limit the black level one more time with reshade. And when I turn on that preset, you see that I am crushing more the blacks. So I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns counting from the right and that's exactly what I want to see. So if I do not use this preset and then I come here to the TV and I force limit it or I lower the black level to 41, I would get the same result. So let's say I force limit it here. Let's take a look at that near black test pattern. It looks exactly the same but it looks darker though <laughs> so but now i can still see one two three four five six seven 
eight columns counting from the right. Okay? So that is double limiting the black level. That is how double limiting the black level looks like. Okay? So I'm doing one time limited with the TV, second time limited with reshade. You see? Before, after. So now let's take a look at the game. What is the result that I am achieving with this? And this is where this becomes just mind-blowing. Like how? How is this even possible? So basically, I'm showing you here that the reshape preset is on. I'm going to turn it off. So before, after. Before, after. Before, after. So this is what... It is kind of inexplicable <laughs> that by turning off, by turning on this preset, I am getting more details. So take a look at these leaves over here. How they become more visible. Take a look at these leaves. They become more visible. Actually, all these leaves, all, all these leaves over here, when I turn on this, which is crushing more blacks, <laughs> It is making the near black detail pop more. So it becomes more visible. So how is that possible? You see, before, after. Before, after. You see the leaves popping. Let me get this out of the way so the camera maybe adjusts the exposure. And now let's take a look at that. Before, after. Before, after. You see here these leaves? Before, after before after <laughs> so how is that possible let me turn on the light again so how how can i am crushing blacks <laughs> more using reshade but somehow near black becomes more visible <laughs> this is fantastic man you have to try it yourself because this is very difficult to record i don't even know how that is coming on the recording or if you were able to see that but trust me if you have a pc and an lg oled and you want to try black frame insertion use these settings and if you look very close near black you're going to you're going to be like scratching your head like how is this even possible <laughs> this doesn't make any sense <laughs> it's fantastic before after so sometimes you're not going to see any difference because this is affecting so see here you can see difference of before after before after let me also, let me also show you the in game near black test pattern so you see here let me show you that the preset is on. You can see the near black test pattern on the game. Okay? So before, with the settings that I was using, and of course, if I turn off the preset, it will be brighter. So before, after. Before. I'm, I'm sorry. This is after. So before, after. So after it's darker. See? With the preset, the near black test pattern in-game is darker, which is what makes sense. But somehow, the in-game near black details, sometimes they pop instead of becoming darker. So this is before, after. So now, let me show you how this near black test pattern looks like with the settings I was using, which is Screen Brightness 41. So doing the double expansion, so doing the double Double limiting the black level using the TV only, so without reshade. So I'm going to turn this off. The reshade preset is off. Let me get this out of the way. So I doubt you can see this on the recording, but trust me. That near black test pattern is visible, but it is so close to not being visible because it is too dim. But if I turn off black frame insertion you will clearly see that the detail is there the problem is you are losing brightness with black frame insertion and you're losing brightness for everything so you see i turn off all in motion pro and the pattern is there so the picture settings that i am using if you're not gonna use all in motion pro 
this SDR HDR trick is phenomenal. It looks perfect. Near black is just absolutely fantastic. But if you're gonna use black frame insertion, definitely give these settings a try. So I'm gonna end the video here. I think this is something that is, it might seem like, man, you're making a big deal of such a small detail. But that's what I do. <laughs> I want to get the absolute best picture quality possible. Every single time that I can improve the picture just a little bit. That's a huge win for me. Huge win. And I will keep doing that until the end of time. <laughs> because that's just the way I am. But if you try this on your computer, let me know how you like it. Let me know if you can tell the difference. And yeah, just I just want to know your experience with this. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will try to explain. And I'm going to have all the links in the description of the video, all the, the settings in the description of the video. And yeah, I'm very happy because I use black from insertion all the time. And this is the way I'm going to play. Of course, I tested this in multiple games. It works for every single game, no matter what. And because, you know, all the games are on SDR. And also, the, if you wonder what is the performance penalty of using this reshape preset, it's like 2% GPU utilization. I tested that too. It's just insignificant. You can lower the in-game settings and get a much bigger, you know, performance boost. It's just almost insignificant and what about the input lag bro come on this <laughs> insignificant okay absolutely insi insignificant and totally worth it for the picture quality improvement so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions